Hi, welcome to another episode of Dear Patty. And today our emphasis is on supporting our aging animals. And in the brief time that I have, I'd like to just talk a little bit about how we can support them better in an emotional way. So my main focus and my main comments would be, be in a place of compassionate support not empathetic, feeling sorry for them place. So if your dog can't get up and you're having to help lift them up off the floor, help lift them up off the floor, but from a compassionate, support, supportive place rather than, oh, I feel so sorry for you, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry you're going through this, blah, 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 blah. And I understand that it might be painful, but really trying to check that and instead helping from a compassionate place, a loving place, but not a hurting place. The reason being that that's so critical is you've got two things that are going to be going on here. You either have an animal who cares deeply about what you're feeling and is already probably struggling some with their body aging, having trouble getting up. Um, and this, they're going to feel you being upset and it's directed at them. And so that's just going to make them feel like, okay, she's upset about something and it has something to do with me and they've already you know got other things going on so it's really important that we pay attention to what are we projecting with them or b you have a really proud animal so let's say you have a cat who um you're helping you know wants to jump up on the sofa with you and they're struggling they have arthritis or whatever and they can't get up on the sofa so you pick a cat up and put it on the sofa the same thing if they're really prideful and you're like oh i'm sorry Bart, I'm really sorry I had to do that, which Bart behind me is very prideful. It's going to upset Bart that way because Bart doesn't want to be viewed at as someone to be felt sorry for. So out of respect and love for them, come at this from a compassionate, supportive place. And then just another quick piece that I would like to share with you um, because I talk so much about flower essences, but I just find they're so helpful and they're totally safe. The Green Hope Farms, they have a transition remedy for those that are getting close to the end of their existence. It's something I have taken with my animal um, who is in that process to help support me. And they also make one called Senior Citizen that I often give my animals as they when they get to be a particular age and I know they're getting closer to you know their time or they're just you know an elder in general. I sometimes will, well, I quite often give them senior citizen as well. If you're into the Bach remedies, then you can look at the uh, walnut remedy on the oak remedy and the olive remedy. All those are, are quite helpful. These are just general ideas. Um, there's plenty of other flower essences. And like I said, plenty of other things that you can go out there and support your animal on a more physical level. But I wanted to just take these few minutes and talk about how being in compassionate support is really the best and most loving thing you can do to offer your your senior animal and lastly just my comment is if you know another thing that helps me with my senior animals is i look at them as my elders and for me or elders in the family and for me um, that's a sacred place and it's also to me a sacred thing that i'm able to share that time with them um, i feel very blessed and uh so you're very fortunate if you get to live with an animal, if your animal gets to live out their full uh, lifetime with you. It's just something to me that's, that's sacred and beautiful in its own way and something to celebrate and look at more as a celebration. So thank you for listening.